Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video today I'll be giving you top 5 companies with high earnings yield in South Africa. Now earnings yield is one of the key terms that shows or indicate the value of a company. A low value might mean that a company is overvalued, whilst a high value might mean that a company is undervalued. So this is one of the most important key terms that I personally I use when I analyze the companies that I'm buying. Now sitting at number five is the APSA group. Now we all know that this is a company that provides banking services. This company offers retail, business, corporate and investment banking. Now this company has got a PE ratio of 4.4 as seen on the picture. Now this company guys has an earnings yield of 23. Remember I said in my in my first video to say that anything with an earnings yield of more than six is considered to be good while anything below six can be considered as bad. Now this is one of the main reasons that this company is in my top five list and this is a good earnings yield guys looking at the fact that it shows or indicates the value of a company. Now, number four on my list, guys, is the NetBank Group. Now, almost same as the APSA Group, we all know that NetBank Group is a financial service provider that provides personal banking services, business banking services, and NetBank Wealth, which provides financial services through three divisions, namely wealth management, asset management, and insurance. Now, this company has a PE ratio of four, and the reason why it's sitting at my number four is the simple fact that it has an earnings yield of 24.9. And once again, guys, this is a good earnings yield looking at the fact that we are looking anything that is above six, it should be considered as good. Whilst anything below six, it should, it's considered to be bad. So I certainly believe that this is also a good company that one can look at when they want to invest. Now, at number three, now personally, this is one of my favorite companies that I invest in a lot because I certainly believe that this company has something big going on and it can definitely do great things in the future. Now, this company has got a PE ratio of 3.2 as seen on the screen and an earnings yield of 31.6 which is higher than the benchmark of six, which is used to identify and evaluate if a company is overvalued or undervalued. So this is quite a good figure, guys. I personally believe that this company has got a bright future and I, I really believe in what they are doing. I mean, for example, you guys should, I believe you guys should also take your time and just go and see some of the properties that these guys have built, how luxurious the properties are, how good the, the pro their properties are, and also look at their plans that they have. Now, sitting at number two is the company by the name of Adapt IT. Now, this is a holding company of an information technology business group, which provides software solutions and services. And guys, this, I'm sure you should not be surprised why I have an IT company in my list and why I chose this company because if you check in one of my videos I indicated and showed you now as now as you see on the screen the software industry is set to grow by 16.4 percent between 2018 to 2022 globally so it is for this reason guys that I personally think that this is one of the tech companies in South Africa that I definitely believe that they can do well in the future they've got so many positive news guys it's just that i can't cover them in this video but go out there and do a, a due diligence on this company you will, you will realize that they've got something going on now this company has got a pe ratio of 2.7 and with an earnings yield of 37.5 and once again this is way higher than our benchmark of six this is a great company guys and i have no doubt it will do great things in the future now sitting at number one it's the company by the name of sun international i'm so excited to discuss and there's no reason why i can't have this company in my number one because this is one of my best top stock in 2020 now last week when i did a video about this company i think it was trading around 
it was trading around nine rand and sixty four cents guys um on friday when the market closed this company was trading at 10 rands and 30 cents which i believe to me it's good and it's already showing good signals that yeah it might be doing great things in the near future now for those who don't know who sun international is this is a hospitality and gaming company that owns and operate casinos hotels and resorts in south africa now this company has got 30 resorts luxury hotels and casinos in approximately 10 countries one of their famous investments in south africa we all know it it's in the northwest and it's sun city and though the bad news now is that the um as i read i think last week it was still close but i believe that the, that is a definitely a good investment for this company now this company as it stands guys it has got a pe ratio of 1.7 there's something that i indicated in one in, in my first video and that is in a low pe ratio might mean that the company is undervalued and guys i can tell you this for sure this is one of the companies that is currently undervalued if you look in their financial statements you will definitely agree with me and for those of you who don't know what a pe ratio is please check the link up here or check the link in the description below where i discuss uh, what a pe what a pe ratio is and how it's used to analyze a company what well, guys some of these key terms that i'm mentioning or say that i say in these videos are not the only key terms that you need to use when analyzing a company there are so many key terms that you have to look into when you are analyzing a company that maybe you are interested in so you need to go out there and find this uh, i did i think in my first video i did indicate that you can go to investopedia and search these key terms or search uh, some of the key terms that you can use to analyze a company and let's not forget that last week we, we they, they were giving us or the company was giving us rights they, they, they were giving us an opportunity to buy their, their share at nine rand 44 which is which personally to me was a great offer that i definitely accepted like i said without a blink of an eye so i definitely believe that this company is worth way more than the price that is currently trading at so this company guys has got an earnings yield of 59.8 guys i'm sure now you see why this company is sitting at number one i mean with an earnings yield that high this should definitely tell you something guys otherwise go do your own due diligence go do research and check how if the things that i'm saying about these companies are correct and and see if this company is worth your penny now guys i make tons and tons of stock market investing videos if it's the first time you are watching my videos please hit that subscribe button comment like and tell me some of the companies that have high earnings yield that you would want me to look at otherwise that's all from me and see you in my next video ciao